The quest for life beyond Earth is only beginning, but science has an optimistic answer that there are many planets in the cosmos, many like Earth. Many extrasolar planets have been confirmed by ground and space-based observations. The number of the stars in our galaxy is probably in the billions, yet there is no proof of life elsewhere in the universe. Is it easy and usual to start a life out in space? If not, how rare is it? Watch this video to better understand the evidence of life on Saturn's moon and the 10 new planets that could support life. The third case planet will surprise you the most. Please subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment concerning the discovery of life on the alien worlds. Evidence of Life on Saturn's Moon NASA has found possible evidence of alien life in the plumes of Saturn's moon, Enceladus. Nature Astronomy reports that methane on Enceladus and a reasonably high concentration of dihydrogen and CO2 molecules cannot be attributed to any recognized geochemical processes. NASA's Cassini probe collected this data. Because of this, researchers hypothesized that the bacteria similar to those found on Earth might consume dihydrogen and make methane as a byproduct. Past research has demonstrated that the planet Enceladus has the potential to harbor life. The Saturnian planet contains an underground ocean covered by a thick ice layer, offering pleasant weather for life to thrive. In addition, experts have drawn parallels between thermal vents found on the seafloor of the Earth and the plumes visible from Enceladus. These plumes are created when the ocean on the Moon reacts with the rocks that supply thermal energy. To assess Cassini's methane findings accurately, the scientists turned to mathematical models merging geochemistry and biological ecology. Regis Ferrieri, a biology professor at the University of Arizona and one of the two primary authors of the research, noted that Cassini's findings are compatible with biological thermal vent activities or with operations that exclude living forms, but rather are distinct from those that happen on Earth. Although the study does not prove the presence of life on Enceladus, it does show that some bacteria are a likely cause of the planet's excessive methane production. Yet, more investigation is required to discover if life exists on Saturn's lunar surface. The Pentagon has published its declassified assessment of UFO encounters to the public on Earth. Based on 144 accounts of Unexplained Aerial Phenomenon UAP, the declassification found unclear signs of any possible non-terrestrial interpretation for the aircraft. Still, it did not exclude the possibility that there were aliens. Glean, a foremost authority in the field of alien oceanography, claims that one of the critical goals in humanity's hunt for life in the solar system is Enceladus. He contributed to a publication detailing the study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences PNAS. The discoveries made possible by NASA's Cassini spacecraft's data have repeatedly blown people away. The Cassini mission found Enceladus's underlying liquid water and studied specimens when ice particles and vapor burst from the crevices in the planet's ice shelf. Glean claims that in their study, they discovered that Plume has practically all the fundamental necessities of life, although the bioessential component phosphorus has yet to be explicitly detected. The team found proof for its presence in the ocean under the Moon's frozen crust. Planetary research has discovered that the solar system has several worlds and seas beneath the ice, such as Europa, Enceladus, and Titan. Oceanic planets, like Earth, can only exist within a small radius of their host stars, where the temperatures are stable enough to keep the water at the surface liquid. Yet interior ocean planets can occur across a considerably larger range of distances, amplifying the galaxy's population of habitable worlds. Phosphates are needed to make DNA, RNA, energy molecules, muscle cells, teeth, and bones in animals and people, or even plankton's microbiology. Based on Cassini's findings into Enceladus' sea system, scientists constructed the most comprehensive geochemical prediction to date of the dissolution of seabed minerals into Enceladus's water. They concluded that phosphoric ions would be unusually susceptible there. Nine New Planets That Could Have Life Here are the nine planets that are speculated to have life. Number 1. Kepler-186f 
It is the first Earth-sized extraterrestrial planet discovered in the habitable zone, the region of the star's orbit where a planet like Earth may have liquid water in its atmosphere and potentially sustain life. The data collected by the Kepler spacecraft up to the conclusion of its mission in 2013 led to the discovery of Kepler 186F in 2014. The planet is 1.11 times the size of Earth in terms of its radius. If Kepler 186F were composed similarly to Earth, its mass would be 1.44 times Earth's. Number 2. Gliese 581g A group of astronomers looking for new planets discovered this extraterrestrial world 20 light years distant orbiting a red dwarf star named Gliese 581. The planet orbits in a Goldilocks zone, an area of space around a star where temperatures are just right for liquid water to develop on the planet's surface. It takes Gliese 581g 37 days to complete an orbit around its star, and it has a mass approximately 3 to 4 times that of Earth. The planet's gravity is strong enough, according to geologists, for it to hold on to an atmosphere of rocks. The planet's mean temperature is minus 31 to minus 12 Celsius, although the Earth's surface would range from scorching hot to freezing. Number 3. Gliese 667 cc Super-Earth exoplanet Gliese 667 cc is located 22 light-years from Earth. The planet orbits Gliese 667c, a tiny red dwarf star with 31% of the Sun's mass and is eight times nearer to its host star than Earth is to the Sun. Some other features characterizing Gliese 667cc are The star provides the planet with the same amount of energy Earth draws from the Sun. It is probably composed of rocks due to its massive size. Gliese 667 is truly a triple star system, with the other two stars being orange dwarfs with masses of 73% and 69% that of the Sun. It is predicted to have a diameter between 1.6 and 2.2 times that of Earth, and a mass of 4 to 5 times that of Earth. The average time it takes to complete one orbit is 28 days. With an atmosphere not too dissimilar to Earth's, the average temperature might be around 30 degrees Celsius, 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Number 4. Kepler 22b the super-Earth Kepler-22b might have a mega-ocean covering it. Kepler-22b's real composition has not yet been determined. However, it may be gaseous due to its large size, 2.4 times that of the Earth. Yet, a recent computer simulation suggests that an ocean world flipped on its side, similar to the ice giant Uranus in the solar system, is comfortable and livable. Scientists determined that a water-covered exoplanet roughly the size of Earth could have an average heat flux of around 60 degrees Fahrenheit, 15.5 degrees Celsius. If it were relatively distant from its sun, the planet's extreme inclination means its north and south poles will see half a year of sunlight and darkness at each pole as the planet orbits its star. Number 5. HD 4307G This exoplanet, designated HD 4307G, orbits a K-type star and is quite similar to Neptune. It takes 197.8 days to make one orbit of its star and is only 0.6 astronomical units AU away from it and 44 light-years from Earth. HD 40307g is the sixth alien planet in orbit around its star. The planet's average distance during its orbit around the star is around 90 million kilometers, 55.8 million miles. HD 40307g's distance from its star is great enough that it presumably rotates on its axis rather than having one face always directed towards its star. Because of this, the planet is likely to have a day and night cycle similar to Earth's, enhancing the possibility that life may have evolved there. Number 6. HD 85581b HD 85581b is 36 light-years from Earth and the orange dwarf star that this planet orbits is only two-thirds as massive as the Sun. HD 85512b travels in its host star's Goldilocks zone, where temperatures are mild enough to allow liquid water. It is predicted to have an atmosphere with a temperature roughly 24 degrees Celsius, 75 degrees Fahrenheit. The gravity on HD 85512b is predicted to be approximately 40% stronger than on Earth 
Hence, considered a super-Earth, Swiss astronomers that used the radial velocity technique found the planet in August 2011. The team relied on observations from the High Accuracy Radial Velocity Planet Searcher, HARPS, which has seen more than 100 extrasolar planets. HARPS identifies stars' tiny wobbles induced by orbital planets' gravitational forces. Number 7. Tau Ceti E the exoplanet Tau Ceti e, also known as 52 Ceti e, was discovered in December 2012 and is only 11.9 light years from Earth. The estimated mass of this super Earth is at least 4.3 times that of Earth. Tau Ceti e might be a warm, habitable planet like Venus or a blazing, uninhabitable world like the latter, depending on the composition of its atmosphere. In 2017, scientists could more precisely determine its orbital parameters. It travels at a distance of 0.552 AU between Venus and Mercury and has an orbital path of 168 days. If Tau Ceti e has an atmosphere similar to Earth's, the heat flux would be about 68 degrees Celsius, 154 degrees Fahrenheit. Number 8. Gliese 163c The M dwarf star Gliese 163 is home to at least two planets, making it significantly smaller and less bright than the Sun. GL163b, the deepest planet, is 11 times Earth's mass and revolves around every 8.6 days. GL163c, the outermost planet, is seven times the mass of the Earth and has an eclipse every 25.6 days. There is also a third candidate planet, a far more alien entity of 20 Earth masses, with an eccentric orbit of 669 days. It was discovered in 2013 and had a distance of 0.1254 AU from its star. Gliese 163c is located 49 light years away from Earth. Its surface temperature is 60 degrees Celsius, which is assumed to be predominantly formed of rock and ice. It receives 40% more additional light from its host star than Earth gets from the Sun. Number 9. Gliese 581d The potential exoplanet Gliese 581d, sometimes abbreviated GL581d or GJ581d, is orbiting the star Gliese 581 about 20.4 light-years distant in the Libra region. It was the third planet discovered in the constellation and the fourth in a model with four planets or fifth in a model of five or six planets in a sequence from the star. Several follow-up investigations confirmed that stellar energy rather than a world caused the signal. This super-Earth, which has primarily a mass of 6.98 Earth masses, became the initial extraterrestrial or presumably terrestrial group to be regarded to circle within the Goldilocks zone of its host star. Computer climate predictions have proven the likelihood of surface water's existence, lending credence to the emergence of these factors and increasing the planet's habitability ranking. The possibility of a dense carbon dioxide atmosphere on Gliese 581d has been proposed in at least one study, approximately seven times as large as the Earth. It shares a red dwarf star's orbit with Gliese 581g, another habitable zone planet. Final Remarks I hope the above information has answered your questions concerning the existence of life on the planet Saturn and the unique extraterrestrial planets speculated to support life. Goodbye to you, our esteemed viewer. Please do not hesitate to follow us, like, and leave a comment.